I don't know. Yeah, we're live. Hello. Welcome to Sunday Brunch Club with me, Daddy Duncan, and... Daddy. Xanthi. Hello, Xanthi. Good morning. How are you? You've got a very grubby face today, haven't you? Yeah. Why is that? Because you've been eating Cocoa Pops. You've been eating Cocoa Pops? Yeah. Right, what are you going to make now? Do you know? You haven't got a clue, have you? No, me. We are being pudding. We're making a Sunday brunch club special. It is called French toast. Ooh la la. I can't really do a French accent. It'll be quite insulting, I think. Shall we take them through the ingredients or shall we give them a bit of, you know, chit chat first to get people oh, yeah. watching? These are raisins. Mm. These are eggs. How many of them are there? One, two, three. Three eggs. What is this? This is milk. Milk. It's whole milk, and it is from Plurendon Manor Farm, which is quite local to us. They deliver it. It is uncomfortable. You can't just use normal milk. Uh, this is what is this? Can you remember? Caramel. 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 Seaweed salted caramel, no less. Who made this? We made it together, didn't we? Yeah, you're going to turn it at both of us. At both of us. Yes, we made it together. I want to and where did we make it? We made it in this kitchen, didn't we? Do you know what the, um, what did the, the Facebook page is called? The Kitchen Table Revolution. We made it in the revolution. We all do big here. Right, what else? This is the, what, do you know what that is? No, dear, we don't. Seaweed salt, yes. <laughs> we made that in the revolution too. The kitchen table revolution. Membership is open now if you want to join. www.bangersandballs.co Now, that is, do you know what that is? That is vanilla paste. Mixed spice. Smell that lovely, don't you think? Yeah. Say it again. Yeah. Is it yucky? On a scale of one to blur, what is it? Blah. Blah. It's delicious when it's mixed in with other things, especially things like this. You could be using cinnamon. You could even use actually cardamom would be very nice with it. Do you want to tell you what spices is in it, Zanthi? No, you don't want me to tell you. It's got cinnamon, I think it's got cloves in it. Blah. Don't tell me what it is. You don't want to know. What about the people watching at home? Mummy's upstairs saying, morning. Good morning, mummy. Loving the duo this morning. That's you and me, we're a duo. We're the dynamic duo, like Batman and Robin. Which one of us is Batman and which one's Robin? Uh, Batman the duo head, and Robin is the duo head. He is, he's his little friend helper superhero. And we've got some double cream. Shall we go through the ingredients again? Oh, do you know what we've already missed out? One in one particularly important ingredient. Do you know what that is? Bye. This. Do, 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 do. It's a loaf of bread. Who made that bread? Me. Yes, I did. Is that hot or cold? It's hot, isn't it? I just made it. Made it? I just made the bread. I made baked the bread just this morning. Oh! Right, so today we are making. Ouch! Ouch! Oh, agony! Ow, ow, ow! Right, we are making seaweed salted caramel French toast using homemade ciabatta bread, which is what that bread loaf was that I just showed you. Um, you could. It's a very good thing to use um, stale bread, the ends of a loaf, things you're trying to get rid of, and uh, have your hair pulled out whilst you're doing it now. I'm going to put you down, and I'm going to quickly, Zanthi, you're being a bit of a mischief maker today, aren't you? Now, Zanthi, I think you might have had too many Cocoa Pops this morning for breakfast. Why? Because you're acting like a Cocoa Pop. That's exactly how Cocoa Pops act. 
Right. We've got to get on with it. You're not really helping. I thought you were going to be helpful, girl, this morning. And do you want me to put you in the oven? Then behave well and nicely and be good. Right. Shall we run through the ingredients just again, again just in case people were paying attention? We have got three organic eggs. None of those inorganic eggs that we don't like. We've got some raisins. Stole these ones off Xanthi. She's probably going to be upset. Mixed spice, which contains uh, coriander, caraway, nutmeg, ginger, cloves, and cassia. Mm. You can just use whatever spices you like. Oh, we've got lots of raisins. We don't need any more raisins. We don't need to show them. Can you do my no, just relax. Oh. We're not really supposed to show the people the behind the scenes bits of our kitchen. We'll get, we'll get in trouble. There, yeah, eat those raisins. Right. Everyone in the world is watching you. Raisins. Oh, you're putting the ingredients up. Three organic eggs. Raisins, mixed spice, correct. Um, cream, that's about 120 mils of double cream. I'm going to pour it all over the laptop. Can you mind me, please? I'm sure you know what cream looks like. It's like a white, thick liquid. This is whole milk. We're gonna, I'm not going to tell you the measurement of that because we're going to put it in and find out how much we need, at, um, depending on how thick the liquid is. This is just a little tiny bit of... Oh, well done. Um, it's uh, 120 mils. No, it's not. 120 mils of cream. That's a teaspoonful of vanilla paste. You can use vanilla extract or you can just not use it at all. Um, it just adds a certain depth to flavour. Um, we're going to use a tiny bit of this seaweed salt that we made. Uh, that's the, what side you want to look at. So that's uh, sea salt with some dried seaweed all whizzed up together. Uh, 50, 50. And our wonderful, amazing, perfectly set uh, caramel, sea salt, seaweed salt caramel. And we're going to get kicked and punched and destroyed as we're doing it. Xanthi, it's enough kicking, please. Thank you very much. Do you want to get cooking now? No, you just want to beat me up. Now, I'm preheating the oven at 180, which for all you Americans out there is 350, gas mark for. And I'm going to put this on a low heat. We're not going to cook any of this at this stage. We're just going to warm it through. And I'm going to put... And what pan you're cooking in? Oh, I am sorry. You can put the eggs in. Tell you what, why don't you... Uh, why don't you... Uh, I don't have a thing. I don't have a thing, Zanthi. How about that thing? Mm, what, was, what about this thing? Yeah. Right, crack the eggs into there. That way, if any shells go in, it won't matter. We can take the shells out before we put them in there. Now, do you want me to give it a whack? Use the spoon. Use the edge of the spoon, the sharp edge of the spoon, yeah. Do you want me to show you? Like this. Pull it apart. Pull the whole egg apart. It's no. Oh, your poor little thumb. Yes. Like that. Do you want to try another one? Uh, no. Do you want me to do it? Yes, but not the hedgehog one. Not the hedgehog, we have to use all three. Right, so in here we have got, we need to work out the way, because we're just looking at the back of us, but it's okay. Right, we have got three organic eggs, and my little assistant here is going to whisk those up for your viewing pleasure. While she's doing that, we're going to discuss wonderful things while I can look at the thing. Uh, 
Uh, oh, I like the fact that I'm being, like, what I'm saying is being written down. Wonderful, amazing, perfectly set caramel. Preheat the oven, 180, 350. Oh, you've done a very good job of that. Look, she has done an amazing job of whisking that. I'm really proud of her. Now, you want to just pour that into here. Can we do it? Yes. And I'm going to whisk while you're doing it. Now, do you want to do a bit of whiskising? Yes. Hold on. How's that? Right, let's see what's going on. Uh, let's see her cracking. Uh, great hack to help three year olds. Great. Well, I wanted to see the yolk drop in. Xanthia's amazing wizard from Whitstable. That's true. I'm sorry we didn't see it. That's why I said at the time we need to change up the things. So we need to have a wide angle and a close up shot at the same time, really. If we can do that, that would be excellent. We need some kind of cameraman down here, really. Um, can she beatbox while we're using? Xanthi, can you do a bit of beatboxing? Beat, beatbox. I'm not very good at it. She's the superstar. You drew in a competition, didn't you? Yes. <laughs> Great. What I love is the way that you whisk and beatbox in time to each other. Right. Let's see. You are doing a great job of that. Let's have a look now. now we've we put the egg and the cream egg. together. We have got, trying not to spill it, it's just getting warm. We're not going to try and cook this too much. Daddy, we we've got a nice the thick. Raisins, uh, no, we're going to put the raisins in a bit later. We're going to put in a little bit, and you put in a teaspoon, maybe even half a teaspoon, this one, of, yeah, half a teaspoon Daddy, of mixed it. spice. You can use that one if you want. Let's do it over there. I know, boys. Well, that's why I did it over, Xanthi. So if it goes in, it goes in. You don't matter. You don't matter, does it? All right, chuck it in. Bash it, so it goes in. There you go. Right. We also need... We're going to put the dry... In, yeah. Dry ingredients in first. We're going to put a little tiny bit of this... Do you want that bit or that bit? That bit. Of... Oh, no! Right. Over the thing, so it doesn't matter if it spills. We're going to put a tiny bit of my seaweed sea salt. Now, if you... Yeah. Have, no, a little bit more, I think. If you... Oh, that's it, half a teaspoon. If you haven't already, do go to www.bangersandballs.co. You can sign up to our um, email newsletter that comes out once a week. And you can read what... You are doing a very good job of mixing together. You can um, read my current blog that I published on Friday, which is all about the taste sensation umami. Which, no. what well, now? We I think we need to put in that. Can we yeah, you will need to hear this. We've already put all the dry ingredients in, now we're going to put the wet ingredients in. Um, umami is the fifth taste sensation. And you'll learn all about that, the history of it, what it does, how to use it, and how to use a bit of seaweed. We've also got a seaweed guide on the website, and we've got loads of other stuff going on. So do check it out. That's www.bangersandballs.co. Now, do you want me to go? You do some mixing. In you go, in you go, in you go. It's a teaspoonful of vanilla paste. You can use vanilla extract. What you could also do is just have a vanilla pod and have that in the cream. No, they're going to go in there when we when we put the bread in. We're going to do that shortly. Now, this this is the key super ingredient. Dun, dun, dun. The amazing caramel. How much do you think we should put in? Spoons. That's a big one. Maybe just one big teaspoon in. 
Yeah. Should we use the other spoon to scrape it off? Too late it's off. Too late it's off. Now, we could put one more in if we're feeling a bit naughty. Are you feeling a bit naughty, Zanthi? <gasps> That's the biggest thing in the world! <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been down for my Okay, well, I think that's going to be enough. Yeah, right. I'll put the more in. <laughs> okay, let's, let's you mix that one and then it dissolves it. No, 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 okay, no, no. don't then, right? We can make it that's fine. You mix that round. Yeah, yeah. While you're mixing that round, we're going to decide how thick it is. And if it's too thick, we're going to put milk in. Like yeah, we're gonna. Okay, me with it. Well, we need to first of all mix in all that syrup, all that uh, caramel. So let's. You can do it. It's getting kind of thick. No, that's how it comes. Daddy, my good What thing? What what thing? The thermometer. The thermometer, huh? Yeah. You want to check the temperature, huh? Yeah. Fair enough, that's quite a good idea. And I was just thinking the same thing myself. Now, <laughs> for this, I think we need to get the temperature to about mm, 80 degrees. If you boil it, you might get scrambled eggs. You don't want scrambled eggs. If you don't boil it and you leave it and it only goes up to say 50 degrees, then, well, one, you, well, it doesn't matter because you're shoving it in the oven, but um, if you were going to eat that as it was, which you could do, uh, it wouldn't be pasteurised, and therefore it wouldn't. Uh, it might contain salmonella from the eggs, which would be very bad indeed. Um, however, it doesn't. It won't. And also, I don't believe for a second Jack would have salmonella in his eggs. How dare you even suggest such a notion, you scoundrel and rascalian? I did that. That's fifty-eight. Should we put the volume under it? Right. What we're going to oh, remember? We're going to add some cool milk now. Now we are adding cold milk for thickness, we, don't want, we want it to be the right thickness and we want it to be volume, the right volume too. Okay, volume. Do you know what volume means? How loud! Oh, how quiet it, is. it also means the amount you have. Do you need to go to the toilet or are you just doing a dance? Off you go, I'll continue. Oh, Not there, go that way! <laughs> Shoot! <laughs> Right, while you're doing that, I'll turn the volume down a bit. Um, can you ask Zanthi about when she went seaweed foraging? I'm wondering what she remembers. I love the journeys we go on together to create things. Oh, yeah, I will, as soon as she comes back from her toilet break. Uh, here is the link to Duncan's Mommy Mommy blog. Great, fabulous. Uh, morning, Frank Thomas. Have you been swimming this morning? Big shout out to the shepherd. Blue tick, booyaka. Blue tits. Right. Uh, well, we'll find out about her foraging in a minute. Uh, in the meantime, we're getting there. We're nearly there. Right. We have done. Uh, I'm mix that in there. My world. I don't want to waste the beautiful uh, caramel. And chuck that in there. Chuck that in there. Chuck those in there. Chuck that in there. Oh, look. Hello. Sorry. Pregnancy's no joke. Good morning, morning Frank, how you doing? Big shout out to the Sheppy Blue Tits, what have you been up to? Yeah, but who's going to be writing what I'm saying? It's all right oh. now. Oh, you don't I care now. No, it's, it it transcribes it anyway. Oh, really? Yeah. Clever. Give me in my little seat. You're so, not going to be happy. Why? Because you're whisking. No, you're whisking. Oh, I'll move when she comes back. How's everyone doing this morning? What have you been up to? What are you out to? It's a bit... Probably, a bit grim, a bit grim. I know it's the Faversham Safari today, so if you're in Faversham, get out there and support it. What is there lots of that wild animals roaming around? Well, that would, that's what Xanthi thought it was. She was a bit upset when it was a um, yard sale. Is that really good already? Yeah. Oh, excited. Sorry, as I wipe my eyes, just a dash of full fat milk. Dash of milk. Beautiful Let me just what can you tell them about the perendum? This is perendum and. One, this is Clarendon Manor Farm. It's fresh pasteurised milk from very, very happy cows who get to stay outside. My thing, like anything, once it gets farmed too much, it changes it. Um, so they know their cows by name. They look after them. And I mean, obviously, they're still taking the milk, but I don't mind that. 
and we get it delivered. And Xanthi thinks it gets delivered by Father Christmas because Father Christmas is the only other person that comes in the middle of the night and drops things off to us. But it's from Kent. And then we rinse and return the bottle. There is something really excited about getting the silver top. Do you remember the silver tops from when you were young? Mm. And having that cream on the top that you take off. But also, I'm sure the picture on the front is much nicer than what we used to have. Oh, Duncan's freshly made bread. Let me taste a piece. Bread. Oh, it's still warm. Oh. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I was up at the crack of dawn this morning. This bread is really good. And either Duncan or I feel quite low, which, you know, we all do in life, don't we? Cooking bread is something that we do a lot, isn't it? It's that kneading, that kind of how you feel, getting it out there. And then it smells good. And then you have that warmth. A layer of bread. A layer. Right, I might even pick the laptop up. Whoa, well, wait, 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 wait. Oh, you're on the money shot, aren't you, of me doing that? Oh yeah. my goodness, that dude's missing her favourite bit. Oh, she is. There you go, there's a few raisins in, they're supposed to be evenly scattered about. Who cares about evenness? Right, and then I'm going to put, I don't know why I keep on doing a normal accent, I should stop it. Yeah, you might get told off for that. Yeah, I know, it's my generic northern accent. Um, so if anyone is from uh, the generic county of north. <laughs> Duncan's family is from Scotland. Well, you can't get much more north than that, can you? No. Uh, now, I was thinking, we're making this with caramel and seaweed, but you probably could make this with, like, rose hips. You could. Well, we in the kitchen table revolution, not to plug it yet again, but we often make syrup. So we make, we're we making a syrup, perhaps, once a month or so. So um, and that could be a rose hip syrup, that could be a summer fruit syrup, that could be... Um, a gorse flower syrup, anything. So you make the syrup at all. So to use that to flavour things like this, this is like a custard, it's not like corn flour in it. Uh, ice creams, custards, um, a lots of desserts, things, mousses, falls, whatever. It's a great thing. So then you can even have the same, you could just get one of those things, like a custard, get it nailed. And then each time someone comes around, it's like a whole new experience. And yet you're doing the same thing each time. It is, I, I have to say your rose hip custard. I don't like custard. I think that was from, I do like Duncan's custard, I have to admit, because it's, I went round to his uncle's house and they put custard over everything. And you know when you go to someone's house, you have to be polite and eat it. It doesn't make me sick, I just don't like it. So I was like, ugh. And I just thought it's going to be lumpy like it used to be at school and like horrible. But they've made it fresh and oh my God, the difference. It was delicious. It's so really what good. I found out is I just don't like tin cups. Yeah. Right, here's Duncan having a whisk up. Whiskey, whiskey, whiskey. You oh, can add it? whiskey, actually. Whiskey, rum. Whiskey brandy. in the jar. Um, famously, we've done it before with um, Baileys. Uh, now, I'm doing this slightly different than I usually do, because I have done this, if you were to scroll down, and I think soon you'll be able to search it when you're on a, on a website. Yeah. Um, you will find that we have made French toast before, and I've done it on the top. In fact, we did a camping, didn't we? On a With elderberry. I think it was with elderberry, yeah. It was eons ago, so you'll have to do some bit of scrolling. No, you don't have to scroll at all. You just put in elderberry French toast. Oh, yeah. Uh, um, whisk away! Now, I just wanted to get this to temperature because I wanted to slightly... What do you mean by get this to temperature? Well, so like... we're going to be doing a chemical reaction it sounds a bit complicated, Duncan, for some reason. We're not. We just need to get into that. Fill up, hungover. I haven't been drinking, by the way. No. I feel oh. like I'm drunk and I haven't been drinking. Like I that. feel like... Oh, here she comes. Here comes the scoundrel. Hey, me on that chair. What did you say? Please, can you move, Mum? You're not paying me on that chair. My what are your manners? Oh, up you go. Can you show this book to them, please? So this is a very good book for Mummy and Daddy, right? Hello. What do you say about that book? Should they buy it? Can't buy it. You can't buy it. Can't buy it. Why can't they buy it? Who do you think we sell it to? Heroes and wonderful universe. Heroes, you can buy this book, Foraging Fairy Tales. You can buy it on Amazon. Link is in Linktree. Don't listen to Xanthi. What do you think? Oh, we're going to put some more. Do you want to the raisins one? in? <laughs> right, put the raisins, scatter them over the top. Yeah. Or just chuck them straight in. They're supposed to be scattered. Oh, where's my passport? Scattered, yeah. Now you don't have to use raisins. You could use, you could just omit them completely, or you could use dried summer fruits, berries, 
you name it, you can use it. I wouldn't use capers. I was going about to say capers, but I think that'd be a bit weird. Yeah. You can eat ones, aren't they? You can eat. You have, <laughs> you've got a, you've got a packet of them. <laughs> 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 you can have a plant soon since you moved it. What should we? This plant, Nancy, has named Bob. Mm. This is Bob the plant, isn't it? And is Bob a very happy plant? Yeah. Is Bob bigger than your head? Yes, Bob is now bigger than Xanthi's head. Lot you guys tuned in this morning to learn things like whether our plant has grown yeah. bigger than Xanthi's head. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to do oh, another mummy shot? Right, I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, I'm coming. Bob, you're 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 coming. Bob, Look at this. Go oh, I look want at to coat the entire bread with this glorious mixture. Oh. Now, really, you should be. I mean, this is obviously absolutely fresh, but really, you should be. Can you just save a little bit of that? No. Just wait a sec. I don't need to pour it all for a sec. I'm going to take a little, little picture. Daddy, can we take a little bit? In a minute. Daddy, exactly. can you sing a song for me on Insta? Can you sing them a song? Cut. Tinkle, tinkle, chocolate bar. I only wonder I could do. What's the matter to tinkle, tinkle, chocolate bar? Pull the choke. Pull the choke. Twinkle, twinkle, chocolate bar. Daddy drives a rusty car. Um, uh, pull the choke. Push a button. Uh, off we go, push a button, pull the choke, off we go in a cloud of smoke. Oh, yeah. That's the it. end. The end. Yay! Woohoo! Yeah, your phone just didn't clear up on the camera. I don't know where my phone is. Right, so we're going to have to move this. At this point in the recipe, you Wait, move. Come you have a dance with something. Yay, woo! We're dancing, we're dancing, we're having a lovely little dance. Yeah! Yeah. Now, you have to do the dance, otherwise, it doesn't come out right, does it? What happens if they don't do a dance at this point in the recipe, Zenthi? Because they're dancing with my brother. Yeah. <laughs> Ow! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Ow! No, don't do it again! Don't do it again! Ow! No! Ow! Look, I'm going to put you in the bin. Okay, hello, Zenthi. Oh. Can you tell me what, we've, what have we got, Zenthi, in here? Wait. Yeah. Uh, cream, cream and seaweed salt. What's it called? Now. Seaweed salt and southern wild French toast, which is about to go in the oven. Woo woo! Right, you. Right. Yeah, what do you do Here is what it looks like to you people at home. Hello, what do you do Hello, what do you do My name is Daddy. What right. is your name? There you go. Yeah. And what? we're going gonna... to... I'm going to take the raisins off the very top because they're from burn. We don't want that. Why? Well, if they're underneath, they won't burn. Whereas if on the, on the top, they can burn. So we're going to leave them off. Now, as I was just saying, we um, do use stale bread. Or you can lightly toast it first. Well, I couldn't, couldn't bother to do that. But if you do, that means it soaks it all up much better because it's dry. It's more like a sponge. Um, Daddy, can we do it We're going to move you up. <laughs> You can do the washing up, yes. Yeah, <laughs> what a treat! Who wants to rent her out? Yeah. Right. So we're going to put this in the oven. Gas mark. What did I say? Four, three fifty Fahrenheit, one eighty Celsius, or uh, twenty-five to thirty minutes until it's uh, nice and golden brown texture like that. Um, you can put it in the fridge to set first for at least an hour, up to twenty-four hours. Um, we haven't got time for that, but uh, it does make it more kind of... We could do it, because we're going to come back anyway. Let's go for that. All right then, well thanks for watching. We will be back to show you what it looks like as it comes out of the other. As you know with us, it could go horribly wrong because we test things live on camera. Yeah. Everything... I was baking bread rather than doing a practice one. Yeah, we didn't practice this, so yeah, but this is true. This is what mm. happens when you do recipes at home. Does everyone, when they're making dinner, practice their dinner and then make dinner? Yeah, obviously. That's called like the first time you do it. <laughs> <laughs> but most chefs don't do that live because they don't want to ruin their no, reputation. Most chefs don't do this kind of thing live. 
Thanks for repeating. It's like being with a parrot. Right, Dante, can you say goodbye? Bye. Over here. Bye. She's, look. Bye. Bye. What are you doing? Daddy been joking. Oh, she's washing up all the dirty things, Dad. But then have a good day with Bye. you. Bye. Bye. Bye.